Excuse my appearance. I am tired. If you watched the last video, you would know why I'm tired. Um, but right before I went to sleep last night, I was reminded of um, something that God was really pressing into me to be aware of last year. And that is monitoring your frequency. We are so unaware of the many frequencies that we are going in and out of all day. Every time you turn the radio on, every time you turn on the TV, every time you go into a room and use a computer, there's always frequency coming off of everything. And especially with music, the artists know, and maybe not all of them, but educated artists know that there is a certain frequency that you can use in your music that will basically hypnotize people. And a lot of uh, people are unaware that the music that you listen to really determines how you're going to be as far as attitude, as far as emotionally, as far as mental state. You, you cannot feed your mind trash and expect to be brilliant. It's so many people, I, I was having this conversation the other day with someone who's like, I think like 10 years older, at least 10 years older than me. And um, he was asking me why I only listen to gospel music. And I had to explain to him, like, I want to be pure minded. I, I want to be only thinking about good things, only thinking about things that I can relate to. And he was like, well, why don't you listen to trap? That's about good things. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> like trap music i mean it, it what is a trap it's it it's in the name of it you know it's not meant to put you in a good place a trap is not a good place i've never seen a trap house that looked welcoming you know it's something that go that people who are stuck doing a certain thing go to and um then we got into this whole conversation about like how he thought that I was judging because um, some people have to use selling drugs to you know better better their lives and I had to explain to him that that's a cop-out in this day and age there are so many other ways that you can better your life doesn't matter what skin color you are in America there there's 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 too many ways there's too many ways and continuing to use um, that as an argument for why black men refuse to actually work and their work is the street life. I'm not going for that. And um, it's just like you really have to monitor your frequency. Faith is neutral. Faith is neutral. So whatever you in the word it says that faith comes by hearing it literally could not be more clear than that right if faith comes by hearing then i should only be hearing and that includes in conversation that includes in the podcast that you listen to that includes the music that you listen to all of those contribute to the frequency that you end up being on like there's so many people that talk about oh i'm Avoiding negative energy by saging my house, but you're listening to Beyonce. So she's ushering that negative, fornicative, um, false idol worshiping energy right back into your house. Erica Badu is putting that witch energy right back into your house. Who else? Um... We don't even have to say Jay-Z because you know Jay-Z is going to usher that energy right back into your house. Like our artists, not our artists, black artists are not, for the most part, on the same team as Christian. That's why you really, as a black person, have to, any, any race really, you have to separate culture. You have to separate from your culture in order to really follow Christ. You have to. That's why it's, um, that's why it says there's neither Greek or Jew, because at the end of the day, the culture is not what matters. So I don't know why I end up yelling. <laughs> I don't know why I end up yelling. 
Maybe because I'm just passionate about it, but please monitor your frequencies. Music is so much more than just entertainment. And um, there's a pastor on YouTube, his name is Stephen Darby. He's done so many videos about the puppets in the industry, about um, the people who own the music, what's behind the music. And um, if, if people were aware of the plan like it's not like this stuff happens on accident the artists that become popular is not on accident it's all planned and the pipeline from rap mu listening to rap music for years to prison is short it's short you know and i just wish our people would stop ignoring the obvious but uh I guess that's asking for too much. Y'all be blessed.